Hello, hello, hello. Now you may be wondering, what is this crazy contraption that he's showing us? Well, try to ignore that, because that's not going to be visible in the final project. Essentially, it's a pinball game. Obviously not a pinball game with flippers, but the balls come out the top here. This, this is a little wheel that spins around to randomize the ball's path. And then at the bottom here, you move this thing back and forth to catch the balls. This, this machine right here, this sort of mechanism right here, lifts the balls back up to the top, drops them back, ready to be dropped again. So I am going to add sound to this thing. I'm probably going to get like a ready-made MP3 board for Tinkerbers, like, you know, something that's Arduino compatible that can be controlled by simple stereo commands. And then that way I don't have to mess with the, with the hardware side of the sound. Anyway, I'll show you how it powers on and all that. Little lights on the board. The green light indicates the game's running. The yellow light indicates that it's waiting for more balls to be loaded at the top. And the red light, I haven't actually hooked up to anything. That's just on the breadboard from another project, and I just never bothered to take it off. <laughs> so it's just there. Alright, so I'll go into details in another video, which you can choose to watch if you want to know the details. If not, then just enjoy this one. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. It didn't actually start the game yet, but it was just doing that because it didn't detect a ball up there, and it didn't detect that being in the center. So, I'll press the start button. Okay, so I got one through, it, it shows a score. Okay, it's waiting for there to be more balls up there. Game's over. So now it's gonna load balls until that light sensor is obstructed, and then it'll return that to the center if it's not in there already. So at the end of every game, it'll reposition everything so that it's ready to start again. Alright, so we're gonna play the game again, but this time I'm gonna sort of cheat. I'm gonna grab the balls and put them through different parts of the machine just to demonstrate how they work. You know, so... Okay. So let's say we caught this ball. We'll go through here. If we look down there, we can see a little green light in there. On the other side of that green light is a, a photo cell. And then again, in there, see the red light? Underneath there, if you look closely. Okay, maybe not. But you get the idea. Now it goes down there. Let's say we actually caught this one. Oh, yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah. Remember, this is a work in progress, so, um, <laughs> game's not exactly finished, <laughs> as you can probably see. 
so let's say we miss that one. I forget how many times I've had a miss on this, but you'll see. The game will keep track of how many you've missed, and when you reach a certain number, it'll stop. I think it was like you, you miss five times and the game's over. Yeah, so then it'll go end, then go to final score. And then it's ready to play again. I'm going to just hit the start button right here. Uh oh. Well, it's got stuck up there. That happens sometimes, but it doesn't cause a major problem or anything. They just get stuck and then the game obviously can't continue until they're unstuck. Alright, so that would be an example of a kind of crappy score. <laughs> but I'm not trying to show off <laughs> how good I am at the game or not I'm showing what what it's supposed to do <laughs> so that thing up there just spins around the whole time to make the path of the ball more random I actually found I'm just turning it off so I actually found by experimenting that that thing actually has more effect on the path that the ball takes when it turns slowly so that's so I have it turning slowly for the whole game and I'm thinking about also having things like if you catch five balls in a row it'll give you three points or something and then like maybe having that thing for the first round I guess like you have to get five points and then that thing will start turning so that it'll like you know progressively get more difficult or like have a round where uh, two balls come out at once you know mechanically it's not it's not all that complicated this thing just has one worm gear and and a little pinion gear for you know reduction that thing is pretty much the same thing, and that's pretty much the same thing right there. So I pretty much use the same mechanism <laughs> for everything. So that just seemed to be the easiest way to uh, mount the motors and have a place to put the wires so that they're, they won't be like really visible to the player once I, I'm going to build a wooden chassis for this thing. So... If you want more details about the project, then I'll make another video with the details. If not, then live long and prosper. <laughs> Goodbye.